Good morning, everybody. Yes, it is that time when we visit with our friends over at the Blank Park Zoo and find out what is happening over at the zoo now that we can get back to the zoo. And, you know, we're socially distanced, but we're able to enjoy all the different aspects of the zoo. And time now to say good morning to a good friend of ours, Jenny Harmeyer, joining us live from the Blank Park Zoo. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? Hi, good morning. I'm doing good. God, <laughs> the rainy morning. <laughs> yes, uh, we're on the heels of the very first ever virtual zoo brew we had last week. Jenny was an important player in the virtual zoo brew. And a uh, question that people asked me over the weekend is whether or not there's still a chance for people to see what happened during the first uh, virtual zoo brew. Can people still check that out? Yeah, absolutely. It's still available on the um, Blake Park Zoo um, Zoo Brew's Facebook page. You can still take take a look at everything that happened and uh, listen to the video. It's really exciting. It's a, about an hour long, and it's um, yeah. Just Ooh. if you're missing Zoo Brew, it's a great chance to kind of um, connect with the zoo and get a little bit more behind the scenes. Yeah, it was really neat. Some great music as well, dueling pianos yeah. were there too. So that was a lot of fun. But uh, we said that there might be something new in the works and it sounds like today we're going to announce a brand new event, Jackie. All right, Jenny, it looks like you're getting a little wet and wild uh, over at the zoo this morning, <laughs> which is wonderful to see uh, beautiful animals behind you. But what are new things we can start looking forward to as soon as next week? Yeah, so next Wednesday we do have an event starting on June 17th and then we'll do it again on Wednesday, June 24th. Um, and it's called Sip and Stroll and it's for the 21 and over crowd. Um, and it's just a great chance to come, come into the zoo and grab your favorite drink, walk around, say hi to the animals that I know we've heard from everyone. They've been missing so much. So we're really excited to um, welcome that crowd back and um, come enjoy a nice evening at the zoo. It'll be from five to eight, um, both Wednesdays. Okay, so this is not, not gonna be zoo brew, but this is an alternate event uh, for this as we just walk around and enjoy the animals. And uh, you said this earlier, but this is for adults only, correct? Yeah, so um, it's not quite Subaru. We won't have the music, but it will be just really fun. You'll have be, have a chance to get drinks and just walk around and see the animals and just a nice relaxing evening. Absolutely. Like obviously the Blank Park Zoo, a very family friendly, wonderful location that we want to remind everybody is open. But there's something unique about that adult only experience when you can go out with some family members or maybe friends that you can social distance with and grab a beverage and just walk around at your leisure and, and watch uh, the, what's happening at the zoo. There is something very fun and unique about that experience, which you guys are trying to bring back as safe as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, we're, tr we're starting slow. We want to bring people back. We want to bring them back safely. Um, so we will have, um, you know, asking people to self it's social distance and we'll have lines by the bars to kind of show you how to space out. And we also have social distancing markers around the zoo. So we're just asking people to follow to follow that um, and be respectful. All right. Now, uh, speaking of uh, things uh, starting back up, uh, we're getting uh, closer to, you know, and being able to enjoy the zoo on a bigger and better way. A couple of other things have reopened uh, over at the Blank Park Zoo, two of the more popular attractions at the zoo, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have um, our training carousel is now open. That opened last week, so it's open now. And then we have a couple new things, or not new things, but things starting this week. So we have Kids Kingdom will be open for um, goat feeding um, this Friday. Um, and it, that is a one-way path, so you'll enter over by the camels, so it'll be a little bit different, um, and then you'll you'll end up by the hand-washing station. Okay, um, so and, yeah, so over yeah. by the by the lion and the and the camel, where you get down normally, so you're gonna go backwards, what most people think, right? Correct. Yep. Yep. So a little different, but we'll have we'll have um, some lines to kind of show you, um, and then we also have camel rides starting on Saturday. That is cool. Yeah. Love having all those different things going on. Things starting to get back Absolutely. to normal. Uh, is Absolutely. We love to see. <laughs> um, but let's remind everybody, if they weren't able to be a part of the first virtual zoo brew, you guys had wonderful information there about not only the great work you're doing there here locally, but your conservation efforts on a regular basis. How important is it by people just visiting the zoo that they're giving back to some great work that's happening around the world? Yeah, just by visiting the zoo, you know, a portion of every dollar is going to conservation efforts. So that could be locally, globally, we support it all. So um, just by coming to the zoo, you are supporting those conservation efforts. You are saving animals in the wild. Right. We noticed the, uh, the aquarium behind you. That is one of the, the bigger attractions, especially over the past several months uh, since you yep. guys had the camera set up. Is, is the camera still going? Yes. <laughs> 
So if people want sure to people want to check out the the aquarium. They can uh, just log on to the Facebook page or the website and can find links there. Now, for those people that aren't familiar with uh, the way you guys are operating business, now you don't just show up and go to the Blank Park Zoo. You have to plan accordingly. Explain how that works. Yeah, so the, we do have time tickets, so you do need to reserve your ticket online. Um, even if you're a member, you still do need a ticket in advance. Um, so that way, when you come here to the zoo with, with your ticket, you can just scan and, and go in so it's way less contact as you're coming in. Um, and that's something that we're doing for Sip and Stroll as well. It's not timed, but we do need uh, tickets to be bought in advance. Right, and the Sip and Stroll, uh, there is a limit on the number of people uh, that are going to be allowed to come into that, right? Correct. Yep, that'll be about 500 people. Okay, again, try to just be safe, and that's the most important yep. thing. And they've really gone above and beyond when it comes to uh, additional cleanliness. It's already been uh, spick and span over there, but you guys have gone the extra step, haven't you? We have, yeah. We have definitely implemented more cleaning um, strategies around the zoo, making sure that um, it's safe for everyone to be here. So um, we have people going around and cleaning, um, you know, train rides and carousel. They're cleaning in between each ride and spacing people out. So we're doing our doing our best to keep everyone safe. All right, Jenny, let's remind everybody about the brand new event starting for the next couple of Wednesdays that adults only can come out and enjoy. Yep, so zip and stroll um, next starting next Wednesday from five to eight. All right, that is mm -hmm. awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for visiting with us and you guys have a great time over there. Hopefully uh, the weather will uh, hold up a little later on today, get some more bodies out there so people can enjoy all the animals <laughs> back at the Blank Park Zoo. Absolutely. You guys have a great day. Thank Thanks, you. Jenny. Great to see you. Bye-bye.